Trying to be woke. I actually go in the ladies' restroom now. <laughs> sure. Well, because technically I'm a man, but I identify <laughs> as a pervert. Damn. Lady, you hit a 12-year-old. A 12-year-old. You hit a 12-year-old. Turn around. Tell me you're sorry and I won't call the police. You can't hit a 12-year-old. Hit me. Hit me. Don't hit a 12-year-old. Here, slap me. Don't hit him because he has a right to carry his flag. An autistic 12-year-old. You hit a 12-year-old, ma'am. You have no right to hit a 12-year-old. Back up. Slap me! Back up. Slap me! He I hit. Me. She hit. Hey, she hit a twelve. I was right behind you. I videoed. Hit him. I had my video right here. She hit him right in the arm. He's no, autistic. She no, she you. threw her elbow. I've got it right here. No, so him. did you hit him? Did you hit him? Then why did you apologize? Are you done being racist? No, racist. How are we racist? We're Jews. Are we racist? What are you doing? Wait, that woman just hit my son. She didn't hit anyone. You weren't there. I was I've got right it on video. There. I'm calling 911 and I'm following you the whole way home. You don't hit a 12 year old. And now you're threatening women. I'm not threatening you. I told her to hit me if she wants to hit somebody. No. And maybe you hit it and apologize and I walk away. Tell me to hit him. You didn't bump it. You threw an elbow at a 12 year old autistic kid. You're going to jail. You're going to jail. Would you rather have me? Or this car? Um, how many previous owners? The car? No, you. <laughs> Zero. I don't buy it. How many miles? Zero. Ever been in an accident? A few. Alright, well at least the car facts on this is probably accurate, um, so I'll take the car. Now that's a bright idea. I'm definitely going for the car because I know the car will be faithful I won't care how long I can ride on him. You Permit don't for have it, a uterus, no you don't get to make a decision. You're Did you just tell me I don't have a uterus? uterus? It will never happen to you. It will never happen to you. Are you telling me that you have a uterus? Well, you couldn't tell me I don't if I claimed it. My pronouns are uterus owner male. Um, the Women's World Cup. We have a new superstar, the Canada midfielder Quinn, goes by the name Quinn. She's a transgender, no. non-binary ex-woman. So my question is, if you're no longer identifying as a woman, what are you doing playing in the Women's World Cup? Not my title, that is the official title of a tournament. She doesn't qualify, they, they don't qualify, even though there's only one of them. They don't qualify for the Women's World Cup because they used to be a woman, but now they don't want to be a woman. So now we have to call them they for being a transgender, even though they're non-binary, and they're still playing in the Women's World Cup, and we're all supposed to go, well done, Queen, what a moment! If you don't want to be a woman, you have no reason to enjoy women's rights. You should go and struggle with the men and see what division you end up in. And they're forced to race. That's yeah. just a fact. You eat cows, correct? No, I animals? don't. I'm a vegan. I don't eat any animals. Okay. Anyone. That explains a lot. So now you know that I'm completely anti-animal abuse. Yeah. Am I in the wrong book by eating meat? If you're eating someone else, you're forcing them into a murder factory, yeah, of course that's, that's in the wrong. That's being rude. People that are vegan, that's their right to be vegans. But it's not your right to say to someone that they shouldn't be eating meat. It's not your right to force animals to be shot in the head because you like the taste of their bodies. Listen, listen, what God, about their rights? I'm go, here for go, their rights. Go back to biblical standards and see if it's right. Everyone is entitled to their own opinions and beliefs. If they call the police, you will be arrested. arrested. Look, like, no, you're gonna arrest me for this. Yes, yes you're, you're trespassing. Yeah, you're trespassing. Uh, yeah. I have revoked your permission to be here. You are now trespassing. Okay. So I'm asking oh you God. to just get up and leave. Do you want someone to call the police? Yeah, the other thing is, is like, you're not really a very good troll. You kind of suck at it. Says and you're not doing any no, favors. Don't. Hold on. You're part of this too because this is who you invited. We're friends. Are you co-signing her behavior? Um, I don't co-sign anything. I'm just her friend. I this I this isn't this behavior. isn't objectionable to you at all. I mean, look I'm a ride. that. Oh. Okay, then did you know she was going to do this? I don't know how any of this goes. I don't know about her medications. Okay, schedule. so now you're you're legally not allowed to be here. I have just trespassed you from my property. Uh -huh. So I'm asking you kindly to leave. Okay. But I'm, I'm gonna call the cops. Yeah. Can somebody ca call the police? 
It's so easy to just leave and not leave, drag like, this on. Wait, no, no, Brian, no. do not drag this. No, no, no. Uh, hold on, Nick. Intro, intro, Nick. You see we're, we're ch guys, we're trying to get her to leave, but she's not leaving. Nick, get on the intro. And you're gonna, go to, you're gonna go to count. I don't know where they picked up this crazy woman from, but women like this don't actually think about the consequences. They just act without realizing the consequences of their action. Where do you get right and wrong from? Being a good person. What is good? Not, not making people around you. You're worse just, by what? Just, what is worse okay, mean? Okay, Charlie, you're just dodging my standards. No, I'm asking the most simple oh. philosophical question. Where do you learn or by what do you base your actions on? How they affect other people? Okay, that's, that's fair, but, but why, why does that matter to you? Is that natural? I don't want to be someone who's making other people's life worse. I don't know why I chose to go to a liberal school. So, so by that standard, you'd say no murder, no theft, so you're yeah, pro-life, right. you're pro, you're anti then. No, I'm not. But I thought you said no murder. <laughs> you got me. How old are your granddaughters? They are six and eight. Would you support them to get hormone blockers to become the other gender? I would absolutely support them to get hormone blockers. The idea of one of my granddaughters learning that they're going to start having their period if they don't get their hormones blocked even though they're identifying and portraying as a male, how horrible that would be. So yes, definitely. If your granddaughter came to you and wanted to get a tattoo, what would you say? That would be more difficult. I always told my three sons, the one thing I ask is please don't get tattoos. Really? Why, why tattoos? There's just something so permanent about it. Permanent? It's pretty permanent. It's very difficult to get them lasered off or removed. You don't think it's like permanent to change your gender? I honestly believe that age is just a number and it does not define maturity and I know people can be old and still be stupid. I, I grew up as a white man and you're, you're the exact opposite, you know, and so it's like my experiences are going to be different from yours. How come? I think, uh, you know, there is a thing of like white privilege. Uh, what privileges do you have that I don't have? Oh, see, that's a question I keep asking myself. Don't you think it's a problem in society when white people think that they have more privileges than brown or black people? Yeah, and I think that's sort of the agenda that's pushed off because personally, it's like, not that I think I'm more privileged than anyone else because I had to work to get where I was, and that's like the... So why do you have that mentality immediately where you, you know, kind of apologize to me, like, let's talk about privilege, let's talk about I'm a white man in America, so we could have grown up differently. I got you. Why, why is that your first initial reaction to me as a brown woman? In this day and age, people are so quick to judge and react and cancel and so i guess it's that that like caution to go into an interview like this i'm like I, I don't know where we're at but now i know where we're at and i can like uh go for real for the fact that white does not mean you owe anyone an apology and this white supremacy myth i actually believe is a myth because there's nothing a white man can do that a black man can't do and it's just fact like check the world right now like black people white people brown people we are making it, so I really don't see the white messy bullshit.